Okay. In this lesson, <coughs> we will talk about the derivation of the Kalman filter. Okay. Because in the previous lesson, uh, we have learned about the how we can model the noise values based on the water normal distribution and the expect, expected values and the standard deviations. Okay. Using the maximum likelihood method. Okay. So. In this case, we need to give the for the Kalman filter derivation. Okay. And so, what is Kalman filter? Our definition is that it is the instantaneous estimation of noise distributions with Kalman gain and so at each case we estimate the noise distribution with the parameters of the what the mu and sigma values or in terms of the error values and then we update the Kalman gain in order to what in order to remove these noise values okay <coughs> so, <coughs> how we can do that? We need to write the 4.1 state space derivation should be given in here. Because <coughs> we need to create what a common game in here. But with the basis of the what? Just remember the previous lesson. <coughs> Just see that this yk is an observation, but we don't know anything about the ak. Ak is the state space matrix, state matrix, right? And so the xk is the main components of the R signal, that's desired signal. And so we need to remove these values. And so we need to create the state projection matrix in here. Okay? So the discrete state space SS is given by with the what with the x k plus one is equals to the what the phi times x k plus w k here it's the main components or the states x k and so this is the state transition matrix or discrete state matrix right and this is the future state. And also, we can call the VK as the process noise. In the <coughs> measurement literature, we have the measurement noise coming from what the ADC sampling or the voltage value fluctuations on the what on the electronic circuit. But the in the real life applications, we have also process noise. To what? Coming from the, its physical nature of the, our system dynamic systems. Okay? And so, this is the first definition. And the second one, the observation. Is Zk is equals to the what? The H times Xk plus Vk. This is the eta value. This is the measurement error. Coming from what the sampling rate, ADC, or the voltage level coming from the sensors. Okay? And so this is the ideal value or state. And this is the measured state matrix. Measured matrix. And so this is the actual measurement. And so this is sensor values. And then this sensor values is contained with the what? With the measured matrix times xk, the ideal state values plus measurement error. Okay? And so the our objective is that if you want to obtain the xk state or the main components of the R state, we need to minimize. Minimizing WK, VK. 
okay <clears throat> and so how we can do that just remember to do what to the mean squared error form it's defined with the e function with the what wk times wk transpose this yields us to one times one matrix or the some scalar function and so which we can assign this process noise with the q matrix in here okay and also we should define to what the e vk times vk transpose this yields also scalar matrix and so we want to minimize this and so we can assign to what the r values okay and so this q and r is the what expected noises coming from signals expected noise values okay and so we need to define the q and r at the maximum rate of the water noise values and so if we know it at in the secular form and so we can use this q and r matrix in order to what in order to remove the r signal forms in here okay <coughs> so <coughs> if this is the definitions and then we need to also define define this one the mean squared error function is the ak times ek transpose can be equalized with what the pk this is a new definition of the water covariance matrix matrix of error okay <coughs> and so this error if this error is going to zero and then the r model is to what is estimate the real values ideal values of the xk or we can write this matrix just like this one the xk minus xk hat times xk minus xk hat transpose is defined with the pk okay <clears throat> and so if we minimize these values and so the r estimated values returns to the what to the actual values without the noise values the process and the measurement one okay and then we can define these nominations xk hat is equals to the xk hat prior values plus kk times zk as the actual measurement minus h xk hat okay and so this is the what the prior knowledge first conditions about what the r xk this is just like the initial conditions and so this zk is the observation okay and so this h is the measured signals and so this hat values is a return to the what to this values this is the gain okay and so this zk can be defined with what the h times xk minus xk hat plus vk just remember the this one this zk h times xk plus v w in the vk and so if you put these equations in here just like this one this h times xk and this is the collective definition of these terms and so this returns to the what to zk I'm sorry, I'm so zk h <coughs> xk plus vk. And so if we put to this equation into the zk one, and then we will have to do what to this form xk is equals to the xk prior knowledge plus kk times h xk plus vk minus h xk hat okay <clears throat> this is the basic definitions of the what of the r algorithms okay so for the error function this is the r definition in here just like this one and so the r error function 
can be defined with this one and so if we minimize this equation minimizing this matrices gives us actual or the ideal state which is required for our algorithms and then how we can do that for the error function we have to what e xk minus xk hat times xk minus xk hat transpose is equal to the pk and so if this xk and xk hat is I'm, I'm sorry this is the hat this is the hat I'm so I just forget to put this hat here okay and so if you put the xk into the this one and so the r e error function returns to the what the xk minus xk hat prior knowledge kk times h xk plus vk minus h xk hat and so this is the what one term this is the another term but transpose this ideal values is putting in here and so this is equals to the pk okay and so if we we organize the whole the equations and then the pk can be rewritten in here the e and also one parenthesis in here i minus kk h times xk minus xk hat right minus kk vk this is the expansion form of this matrix equations in here okay and so you can put this one and also times i kk h times xk minus xk prior knowledge hat minus kk times vk okay and transpose and this is the whole the collective function in here and so this is the what the prior estimation value okay for the initial conditions so if we <coughs> reorganize these terms this yields us to what the pk is equals to the what i k k times h times e this is the constant values coming from this ones and so xk minus xk hat but prior knowledge xk minus xk hat but prior knowledge transpose time i minus k k h plus k k times e error function v k times v k transpose times k k transpose okay and so just remember the pk definition pk definition gives us the xk minus xk hat but this is the prior knowledge or the initial condition knowledge and so we can assign to this value pk hat right this is true because it's the identical and also see that this is equals to what is equals to the r value see the analogy of these terms and then we can write the pk in here just like this one i minus kk times h times pk over here prior knowledge i minus kk h transpose plus k k times r times k k transpose this is the r evolution of the r covariance matrix or the error matrix of 
our Kalman filtering. If this PK value is going to the watt to the zero and so the noise is estimated and the actual state of the R estimation algorithm gives us the what the true values of the measurements. Okay? And so this PK is what can be converted into the in this value PK plus one or PK. And so we can iterate the, at each case to the what to this prior knowledge based on what the previous measurements. Okay? So how we can define the PK in the expansion form? Just like this one. If the this PK is a matrix and then we can write the PKK matrix containing with what the previous current and future predictions and so the PKK is equal to the what E error function mean square error E k minus one times E k minus one transpose and blah 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 and E E k plus one and E k minus one transpose right and so at the diagonal E E k times E k transpose and at the diagonal E E k plus one E k plus one transpose right. This is the basic PKK matrices, okay? And so, how we can define the optimization rule or minimize these values? In the matrix theory, we have the beautiful formula. These diagonal elements can be represented as a scalar values with the, in terms of the water trace PKK. And so, the future, present, and the previous results can be minimized by using what the minimizing the trace value and so this e minimizes with the what with the if the trace is minimized and so instead of using the total covariance matrix we can minimize the trace of pkk and this yields us to the what to this matrix is going to the zero okay this beautiful formula and so <clears throat> If we expand PK is expanded like to the what the PK is equal to the what PK prior knowledge KK times H times PK prior knowledge PK prior H transpose KK transpose plus KK H pk prior knowledge ht plus r times k k transpose okay this coming from what this coming from the previous equations it's an expansion form and so the r condition is that this is the r equation <coughs> r equation is that minimize trace e or minimize TR PKK. This is identical. <coughs> and so, <coughs> if you want to do this, then we will have the TR PK values is equals to what? TR PK prior knowledge minus two times TR KK times H PK hat, right? Because we have the two terms in here, even if the transpose values does not change the diagonal elements. And so we can collect the, these terms just like this one. This one and this one are identical in the diagonal terms, right? And so, besides, we have the also a trace values kk times h pk prior knowledge ht plus r times k k transpose okay so this is our new energy function based on the trace values of the what of our covariance matrices the error matrix right and so in order to minimize to this values or this function how we can use or how how we can utilize the any theory or the which theory can be utilized in order to minimize these things. Just see that we have the Kalman gain in here, KK. And so if we 
if we take the partial derivative of tr pk just like in the mean and standard deviation values and if we take the partial derivative with respect to what kk and so this is equal to what times 2 minus h pk prior knowledge transpose plus 2 kk h times pk prior knowledge ht plus r is equal to the zero <clears throat> and so it's coming from the this equation kk uh, reorganized in order to what in order to the left hand side putting the left hand side and so we can solve this equation and then we will have the kk is equal to the what the pk prior knowledge ht times h pk prior knowledge ht plus r over minus one this is r to what r rule to update the kk value in order to what in order to minimize the error just see that if we have the kk value in the online estimation and then we can use this kk in order to what in order to minimize at each time to noise right this beautiful formula because this kk values minimizes the pk or the error covariance matrix or the mean square error of the what xk minus xk hat and so put this equation this equation into pk1 then the total pk is equal to the what the pk prior knowledge minus kk times h times pk prior knowledge or i minus kk times h times pk hat this is our evolution method for to what for creating two error covariance matrices okay so this is the update rule and so if we have the kk in here just like this one and so we can put the, these values in here and so pk can be updated at each case at each time okay so the other important thing is that the state projection matrix or the state space implementation which calls the state projection is the xk plus one prior knowledge hat is equal to what the phi times xk hat or ek plus one prior knowledge xk plus one minus xk plus one hat <coughs> prior knowledge or this is easy equal to what the phi times xk plus wk process noise minus phi xk hat right so a k plus one Prior knowledge is equal to what the phi times e k plus v k. This is beautiful formula to what to minimize the error. And so we can write again to what the e x k minus x k hat times x k minus x k hat transpose. This is the energy form, and so we can define p k, and then we can write the p k plus one. The future state can be built with what the e e k plus one prior knowledge e k plus one prior knowledge transpose is equal to the what the e see that phi times e k plus w k phi times e k plus w k transpose this one right see we have the ek value to drive the pk plus one in here this beautiful okay and so in the expansion form of this equation we have e phi phi ek times phi ek transpose right this transpose plus wk wk transpose plus and so phi e k w k transpose plus w k 
times E K transpose phi T transpose, right? <coughs> and so this must be equal to the what? Zero. But in terms of what? In terms of the T R values, okay? So if this is diagonal, this creates. I'm sorry, this is not the equals to zero. If this is the diagonal, these terms removes to each other in here, okay? Because the phi e k times w k transpose of this value is current only the diagonal elements. Diagonal elements. And so this removes to the each other. And then we can rewrite the equation just like this one the e phi times e k times phi e k transpose plus e w k w k transpose okay and so just remember that what is this values this values is equals to the what is equals to the q and so in the final formulation we have this beautiful formula i'm writing in here pk plus one hat is equals to phi times pk phi transpose plus q see the error covariance matrix is what is in the form of the discrete dynamic right so we have the error covariance in here and so we can update the what hat values from this one and so we can build the algorithm at each case we calculate the error covariance matrix and then we select the kk value and after that we projected it and after that the kalman gain is built and so how we can summarize these equations in here First of all, we need to build the what the Kalman gain in here. Kalman gain. And so this Kalman gain is fits to the what? To the update of the estimates values. Update estimate. And so this update is to what? Updates to covariance covariance okay and after that we need to project it to the what to the r system projected into this system and after that we calculate the kalman gain in here <coughs> and so we need to give the what in the first place initial estimates okay this is the first condition and so the Kalman gain is calculated with the what? With the these terms. Kk is equal to the what? Pk prior knowledge h transpose times h transpose. Um, I'm sorry, it's not the transpose. H times Pk prior knowledge hd plus r minus one. Okay, this is the first formula, and in the update estimate should be given with what the, we gives the measurement in here in the real-time application and so xk hat is equals to what to xk prior knowledge plus kk times zk minus h xk hat prior knowledge okay and so update the estimate and then we need to update the covariance matrix with what? With the formula I, K, K times H times P, K prior knowledge. And so, <clears throat> how we can project it everything in here? We need to utilize what? K plus 1 prior knowledge hat is equal to what? Phi times X, K hat. And so, P, K plus 1 is equal to what? P, P, K plus 1 is equal to what? Phi times P, K times Phi transpose plus Q. Okay? 
And so this two formula is utilized with the what? With projected into this one. And so the Kalman gain is updated in here. And the measurement is included in what in the update state with in terms of the what the xk values and after that the covariance matrix is to what updated in here and so pk plus one is recalculated again okay and so this is called the kalmar filter design in the linear system one and so at each case <coughs> this prior knowledge is to what is replaced with the previous one just like this one and so these hat values at the beginning of the this code is the initial estimates, the initial values. But after that, this is going to do what? To do k is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. And then these states are updated with the previous or with the previous feature values. Okay? So that's it. Let's start our algorithm. For to what? To build the R nominations of this signal in the next session we will implement this algorithm in the what in the matlab script applications based on the what the kalman filter coefficients writing okay